gradually, gradually, gradually lower yourself. <laughs> what kind of warm-ups do you do at your dojo? And if you're an instructor, do you adapt those warm-ups depending on whether there are members from different dojos and styles in attendance? Today's video is the first in a series from my weekend seminar in Bern, Netherlands in 2023. It was hosted by Imajuku Aikido under the direction of Ariane de Vries Sensei. There were people from various dojos and styles, so I thought it would be a good idea to start off with some paired stretching, so to speak. This way I figured that people could not only get warmed up, but also build some trust among each other. So, as many instructors do, I started off with what I call kokyu nage, or some instructors call it irimi. I wanted people to fully engage in a non-competitive way and warm up their muscles, warm up their body. I hope today's video will give you some insight, inspiration, and motivation, and help you take your Aikido training to the next level. Let's check it out. stretch okay so this is the branch roots are stable here so that you can support him okay don't push him down the tree branch grows out that's all go ahead uh -huh. mm -hmm. this time let's try to make sure that the eyes stay up or at eye level so um, for the, maybe there's some people who were there last night when I was teaching. There's really, there's three times especially that we like to look down. And one of those times that we like to look down is when he grabs, right? <laughs> Always. And then the other time is if we do a turn, we like to look down as we turn. And the other time is when he falls. So when we look down, Oftentimes, 99% of the time, and especially at the beginner levels as well, uh, we look down, usually the head falls. The head falls, usually the chest collapses. Chest collapses, usually the center disengages, right? So an easy way to keep this engagement is step one, just keep the eyes here. Through the whole thing, whether you're turning or not turning, okay, the eyes stay at eye level. So we'll just work to give him a branch to hang on, okay? There, thank you, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, you, <laughs> good. Just give her a branch. Omote ura, as you like. Give her a branch to hang from. Keep the eyes at eye level. Uh -huh. Hi, go ahead. <clears throat> Hey, we'll get back to the video in just a moment, but I just wanted to give you a gift for joining me today. I want to give you a free resource, my body alignment checklist called The Three Lines of Equilibrium in Budo. It's a simple PDF guide. The checklist will help you begin to identify and eliminate any ineffective or harmful patterns of movement so that you can preserve your body and improve your technique and continue training for years to come. You can download it at leah-suzuki.com slash body alignment checklist with hyphens or just click on the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy the gift and I hope you take action on it. Now let's get back to the video. He just stood right back up. So why wouldn't he? If I try to go out here, once we take this into, once we start to apply this to a technique where we're throwing him, then a lot of people start to push up here. Whoop. Right? So keep this right here in front of him. Okay, and again, make your structure trustworthy so that if he wants to take more of a back bend, he can. I'll take it. Uh huh. So his job is just to give me a, a branch and step behind me more. There you go. Keep me up. Yes. So if you want to take a bigger stretch, your partner needs to have a structure that you can trust. Right? And sometimes there's big size difference. So yeah, he just adjusted even more, Remco. Yeah. So this way, it's even more that his structure 
is uh, supporting me, not just his arm muscle, okay? Just a little bit more. So, once again, I'm just, my job is to create a structure that he can, that can support him, okay? We had uh, Angel. Angel came to my dojo in Los Angeles one time. Angel was about 73 years old. And sadly, he was, he was really aging a lot. Um, he looked older than 73. So Angel walked in like this. And then when we did this exercise, I'll be Angel. When we did this exercise, I told my students to be very patient with him, not have some expectation of him doing a big back bend or anything. So Angel went from this to this, and that was his limit. And then his face came alive, his eyes lit up, it was amazing. Then somebody else comes in and does this big long back bend. So anyway, your job is not at all to push down on him or to figure out in any way how much of a bend he should take. Your job is to get yourself ready for whatever, however much of a bend he takes. So then let's consciously do omote and ura. I see some people doing only omote, some doing only ura. So we'll start omote. Good. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> omote again. You could cheat with this hand if you want. Okay. Then ura. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. And ura. Yes, nice. You can play with various aspects if you want. Okay? So your job is to give him something that will support him. So don't think about how much he should be going down. One more time. The same front mind frame. And we can let him gradually go down to the mat. Not by pushing him down, but by lowering ourselves. Right? Yeah. Gradually, gradually, gradually lower yourself. <laughs> uh huh. Hi, go ahead. <clears throat> Make it a little more fluid. A little bit more like maybe what you recognize. But don't push. Don't push against him. Okay? So don't throw away all the great work that you've done. Just go past him. Go through him. Yes. Nice. Oh. Uh-huh. Sorry. Hi, go ahead. In conclusion, I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments section if you or your students sometimes do this technique as a warm-up, and if so, if you find it helpful. If not, tell me what you do usually use as the first technique for the, for the class. Also, please let me know what seminars you plan on attending. You can check out my seminar schedule at leah-suzuki.com seminars. Again, I want to give you a gift, my checklist called The Three Lines of Equilibrium. It's from my paid online course called Proper Body Alignment in Movement, but it's free for you today as a thank you for hanging out with me and watching the video. The checklist will help you identify and eliminate ineffective or harmful patterns of movement so that you can preserve your body and improve your technique and continue training for years to come. Just click on the link below or type into your browser leah-suzuki.com slash body alignment checklist with hyphens in between each one. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.